I want to show you guys something. If I can get it all situated here. Bring it around town. Clip. Then you just clip your GoPro. Wait, this way? No, the other way. In like that. And then... Then you go to garage sales. This past weekend, I took my GoPro with that little setup I just showed you guys and went to one garage sale. I wanted to go to multiple sales, but this one ended up being so cool and so many like different layers of it, I guess you would call them, that I ended up staying here for almost like an hour and a half and got some really cool items. So let's go ahead and start with the GoPro footage. Good morning. morning, how are y'all? What you got out here? So that, oh, it's all okay. That's okay. We got lots. Oh, no, That's not. cool. I thought it was going to be kind of cold today, but it's, it feels like it's warmed up a little bit. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Radio Shack Farms. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a pile too. How about that? Okay, there we go. Y'all got some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> undertaking license during World War II because she was a nurse uh -huh. and she got her undertaker license so she had an ambulance phone so the funeral home could call her. Wow. That's, <laughs> I didn't even know the, the story behind out. it. Yeah. It's a funeral So you just pick it up and it's the ambulance. It's got a body coming in. Can wow. you come? That's pretty cool. We got one coming. Sixty five operation. One dollar for the entire box. Excuse me. Got some old games. Nineteen sixty five. That was before my mom was born. Oh wow. <laughs> Those were my games. Yeah, they you don't you don't find them. I mean, they keep remaking them, you know, but you don't find the old ones like that anymore. In the original box. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an antique We need the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
for? I've got no shoe up there, Tina. I've got no shoe. What are you doing? I think I'm going to get this. It's an old iron board. I know it, but I'm just showing you how old it is. Cleaned up real good. That's what used to make the uh, muffler guards with. Yeah. It works, the guard with. It works, but I wouldn't trust that thing. You beat the antique man. I've seen people on flea market flip turn these into tables. Yeah. With not not much work. <laughs> you basically just put stuff on it. I like it. That's That was my grandmother's. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let me take one more look around. I think I'm done, but... We'll make sure. Good morning. I hear something that, that I mean, this is Samurai Tokyo. Yeah. Wow. Where's the daughter? I bet you it's a I carbon think, set. I think oh he God, got it while he was serving you. in the Navy uh -huh. in the fifties. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You talked me into it. Okay. I'll get it. Your prices are so good, I can't say no. <laughs> is this an old toaster? Yep. Clean that sucker up a little bit. Yeah. Universal. Made in the USA. I like it. That's an antique hey. toaster. I know. No power cord, right? No. You might could find one somewhere, you know, somebody may have. Yeah. Somebody will probably just collect this for, just for looks. It looks pretty cool. I'll take a chance on it for a dollar. Are you getting this big metal thing over here? No. No? Yeah. No? What is that? Mmm. There's camera stuff I'm following. Okay. Hmm. A lot of good stuff here. Look at these old pipe clamps. Two bucks a piece. Y'all about giving the stuff away. Man, we gotta get it out of here. We're uh, out in the nursing home. Yeah. Put the house on the market. Now's a good time to put the house on the market. Yeah. Is it this house? Yeah. What's the uh, what's the, the square footage and? Uh, I don't know. Take you, take you in for a look around. You might see something else to sell. Is everything inside for sale too? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. Look at the house and look for stuff too. Okay. Um, you got some couches that are kind of dated on the fabric. That's a daggum boy hill. That's a nice chair. That's a boy hill too, or mm -hmm. Thomasville, or anyway, it's a name brand, but they're yeah kind of dated. Yeah, lots of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. To my eyeballs up. How much you want on this little radio? Uh, give me five. Do you know if it works? Yeah, I know it does. I know it does. Got something. Predictable weather and ever-changing safety go. protocols. Sometimes it's just. All right. Do um, you have any like old camera equipment? I see a I bunch have, of camera stuff. We have so much old camera equipment. Okay. Uh, you want to go put that on your pile and we'll take a walk downstairs? Yeah. Are right, you ready for cool? I'm ready for cool. Let's see it. Close that door so no one else will come. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this was this dark room. He was an electrical mechanical 
guru, so he made mm -hmm. all kind of homemade contraptions contraptions to go with his stuff. Like he made that sink. That was his sink. Yeah. And then he uh, here's a military uh, something that he uh, modified. Wow. I mean. Uh, Seems like a pretty cool guy. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Is this timer thing for sale? Yeah, give me uh, two bucks. There's another little timer. Here. It's pretty cool. Dayton, Ohio. I got years old. Oh, yeah. Anything made in the USA nowadays is so old. Listen, you just want to put that stuff down and take your time and just look around. Okay. I mean, I think you the mother boat first right there. Yeah, and this is some cool stuff. It's an old first aid kit. I like that. I don't even know what that is, but I'm going to get it. a cool sign. Get that. These are all lights for uh, photographs and portrait stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Rollerflex. This is a German camera. Yeah. A 120 millimeter is all they ever made. Mm -hmm. And this is a Rolly Flash. So I don't know what it goes with. Do you have any Rolly Flex cameras or just accessories? There you go. That locks on there. That would be a great mate for those things. Yeah, for sure. I see it pops in right there and then yeah. twists in place. That's awesome. What you gotta have for that? Uh, I need 20 for that. Really flash. Put the smaller stuff in here. So what did I say about that? I don't even remember. Let's go two. Okay. Two. Uh, I'll be honest, it may have been paper. Daddy was a photographic paper. 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, so as you guys saw, I spent a total of $62 on everything I got at that garage sale and I feel like I should make most of my money back just with this big ironing board back there. I'm going to go through everything, but I think this vintage ironing board is going to be listed on Facebook Marketplace and I think I could probably get, I don't know, probably like 75 bucks for it, something like that. So that'll, should, it should, as long as everything works out, that should pay for the entire haul and then everything else will be pure profit. First up is this really cool Radio Shack vintage, oh there's the battery, vintage Radio Shack Fire Chief helmet. I put batteries in it and it does not work, I couldn't get it to work, but it looks fine, like I don't see any corrosion or anything in there. Um, so I don't know, maybe it'll sell as a collector's piece. Uh, sold comps on eBay on this item are anywhere from like $40 to $75 depending on if it has the box and if the box is in good condition. I think I paid like a dollar for this. Yeah, I paid one dollar for this, and uh, I don't know. Like I said, forty, maybe like maybe thirty to fifty dollars. I think the box is in rough shape, and because the hat doesn't actually work, thirty to fifty dollars is pretty pretty conservative. I think. Got a nice little John Deere hat, not vintage or anything. It's definitely a modern like baseball style hat, but John Deere stuff always sells well. This is in pretty good condition. I want to straighten the bill out a little bit just to make it not so curved, but. I uh, should be able to get 12 to 15 bucks plus shipping for this. I got two of these Sony radios. This is one of, uh, I don't know, it's an old one. I don't really know a lot about Sony radios, but 
I like them. I like I like the aesthetic of them. I like how they look. Uh, I did plug it in, and it I got two of these, and both of them do work, but I think they're like missing the antennas or something. Like I think there's supposed to be like a wire or something up here. Again, I don't know anything about it. I hear static, and you can get some stations, but um, you don't really get a lot. So I'll probably just sell them as is. I wish I had an antique booth. Stuff like this makes me really want an antique booth, but uh, don't have one, so we're gonna sell these on eBay. Probably like 20, 25 bucks plus shipping. Here is the other radio, which is basically the same situation. This one's slightly smaller, um, which may be more desirable. I don't know if people want them bigger or smaller, but it, it turns on, you can hear static, but again, I think there's supposed to be some bigger antennas or something back there. I, I don't know, if anybody knows how to increase the range on these things, let me know in the comments down below. But this is pretty cool too. I think I paid like five bucks a piece for each of these radios and each one should sell for 20 to 25 bucks plus shipping. I got this really cool box, at least I think it's cool, down in the uh, dark room that he showed me in the basement. It's literally just a wooden finger jointed box. Anytime you have a wooden box that has this kind of like joinery, these are called finger joints, which it's a pretty high quality box. It also has this label on there. Globe Wernicke Cincinnati. I'm assuming it might be Wernicke, but I don't know, maybe it's German or something. Uh, but just a solid wooden box, a little soft hinge back there, and then the back, I'm pretty sure it says Globe Wernicke again, or number, whatever that says. So pretty cool. I don't know, somebody might want it. Again, this would be a great antique store, uh, antique booth piece, but I don't have one of those. Those hinges on the back look cool too. It's pretty interesting. I was walking through the kitchen and I grabbed this knife because he said everything was for sale, and I just saw Made in USA and grabbed it. I think he charged me like 50 cents for it or so. Utica Forge. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more valuable, but looking up sole comps on eBay, in the current condition, it might sell for like five bucks or so because it needs to be cleaned. It needs to be sharpened. The, the handle's in good condition. Nice solid wood handle, but um, I don't know. I feel like all knives back in the day were really good quality. Nowadays, they make cheap crap, but um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I was hoping, hoping for better on this one, but I'll settle for it. Paid 50 cents, turn it into like five bucks. Not losing money. So you guys saw me get that whole box of vintage board games. I didn't really want all of them, but it was like a dollar for the whole box because I think the box had gotten wet and some of the games on the very bottom were like moldy and gross. So I just honestly just put those outside. Uh, probably just gonna throw them away. Got a Fast Eddie game. I've never heard of this game before, but open it up. It's got, I don't know, it's got a bunch of stuff in there. It's got all the marbles. Pretty cool. I think this is just before my, before my day. All these games are like, vintage originals. I don't see a date on this one, but um, what is this, Spirograph? This one has a date right there, the Spirograph of 1967, which is, um, it's old. I, I, that's, that's pretty old. Uh, this is a vintage made in USA operation game from 1965. Pretty old there. And what I like, I like about this game is that it even has all the stuff in there, like all the little pieces. It has like the wishbone and the dog and all that. I haven't put batteries in this yet to try it and see if it works, but just the fact that it has all the pieces in there, it's pretty, pretty cool. I grabbed this thing when we were down in the basement dark room. It's uh, Highland Photo Eye model HR53. And apparently this is like a handheld flash thing for cameras. I think I paid like a dollar for this, a dollar or two. So I figured I wouldn't lose money. Um, but unfortunately, this really isn't worth much. I think their sole comps of like 15 bucks free shipping. Um, but cool. It's, it reminds me of that Men in Black thing where they like, bloop. Then we got this. This was really cool. I didn't even like look at this. The guy, the older guy at the sale showed me this and like talked me into buying it. I think I paid $8, no, $5. I paid $5 for this, which was a steal of a deal. And this is a, I, like a vintage cutting set like carving knife set, uh, I think it's from Japan. It says samurai sword, samurai cutlery, pretty cool. Still got the pamphlet in there. Um, yeah, this is from Tokyo. Literally looks like a samurai sword. That is freaking sick, man. And the other side has this uh, cool like dragon or something engraved on it. May uh, Japan stainless? Yeah, stainless Japan, stainless Japan. Definitely really cool. This is the, there's this long knife. And then there's this shorter knife. I'm not a knife guy, I don't know what the difference is. Then you got the fork for holding stuff, something while you cut it, and then the sharpening thing, sharpening stick as well. And the fact that it comes in a nice little case that I don't think it's, it's kind of made to look like 
animal skin or something, but I don't think it's real. Uh, but either way, I figured it was worth five bucks. I mean, maybe somebody will pay, you know, 30, 35 bucks for this plus shipping. All right, getting more into it. I got the sign from the dark room. I thought this was nice. Got a nice little vintage look to it. Dark room in use, please knock. It's got a little bit of wear in the corners and it's not, it's like particle board or something. It's not real wood, but uh, it was like a dollar. So I just grabbed it. Got this set of three pipe clamps. These are for like woodworking and stuff. Pipe clamps are pretty expensive. It's um, like even like newer ones that you get at like Harbor Freight Tool. Um, they're going to be, this size will probably be like 20 bucks a piece. And generally the older ones are more desirable because they're better quality. So I think I can probably list this set of three pipe clamps on Facebook Marketplace and probably get like 40 to 50 bucks for the, for the set of three, maybe something like that. I haven't sold pipe clamps in a while, um, but I used to do woodworking and woodworkers love pipe clamps because it makes it, it's a lot easier to use pipe clamps to clamp wood together than it is to use like the, like the plastic clamps that uh, are super cheap. So I think these will be a good Facebook marketplace local sale for sure. Got this cool, really cool. This is probably one of the coolest things I found is this really old first aid kit. I love the look of this thing. The patina, just like that tackle box that I found a couple, like a month or so ago at the Goodwill Bins. I just love the look of this thing. I didn't even think there was going to be first aid stuff in it. I thought it was going to be empty, but when I opened it, it did have first aid stuff in it. It has like all these like gauze packages and stuff. And it's a uh, state of South Carolina first aid kit. 16 unit pretty interesting but obviously you could take this stuff out and use it for whatever you want again i just bought it because i liked the look of it a lot got this toaster look at this old toaster i don't know why i got this it's probably not worth anything but i uh, only paid a dollar for it i was just trying to help them clear out stuff i think if you go to a yard sale and you start buying a lot of the stuff that i don't know maybe nobody else would want they would be more likely to give you good deals on other things that you really want. So I was just trying to buy a bunch of stuff to win them over and so they give me better deals on stuff later. So I thought this was pretty cool. Nice little vintage chrome toaster. Kind of rusty. Don't think it's worth much, but uh, definitely cool. This next item is really, really interesting. This is uh, an ambulance phone. Uh, you guys heard the story when she was saying about her mom or somebody that used to be an undertaker worked in a funeral home and this was the phone in the funeral home they would just pick up and it would immediately it doesn't dial out there's no dials on it so they would just pick it up and it would immediately link them to the ambulance or whatever for a body i don't know just pretty interesting piece here i couldn't believe it was only a dollar this next item is probably my favorite thing that i found at the yard sale it's just got a cool look to it and it's fully functional i plugged it in and it does work this is a dark room timer it was on the top shelf of the dark room I just grabbed it because I was like, oh, a timer, you, it's a darkroom timer, but you could use it for anything. Somebody could put this in their kitchen or whatever. Uh, it does work. You just like pull this lever to whatever you want to set the timer for, like five minutes or 60 minutes, whatever you want. And then you plug it in, turn on the timer and turn on the alarm, I guess. There's two on and off switches. I'm not sure which one turns on which thing, uh, but then it just goes. And when it hits, it's like, ah, like it's, it's really, it's really loud. Uh, but definitely a cool piece. I like the look of it. Soul counts on this are not that great. I had high hopes for this, uh, but I think it can probably, in the current condition, it'll probably sell for 25 bucks or so. 20, 20 to 25, maybe 30 bucks plus shipping. And then of course, the very last thing today is this awesome uh, vintage ironing board that nobody would really use this as an ironing board. They would all use it as a table, but it's got like the nice legs that fold out down there. It's nice and sturdy for the most part for being something that's you know probably over a hundred years old. Uh, definitely definitely a really cool piece. We needed a table to go here in our kitchen but this is a little too deep. So again like I said I'm probably going to list this on Facebook Marketplace for about 75 bucks or so. I think 75 bucks is a pretty fair price to pay for such an old ironing board. Again if I had an antique booth, this would be perfect because you can put it in the antique booth for sale, but then you could also put other things on top of it. It would, it would be awesome. I might actually take it to an antique booth and see if they could like consign it or something. I, I should really open my own antique booth. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Generally, my issue with that is that I haven't been able to find enough items that would be appropriate to sell in an antique booth, but this whole lot would fill up a small, like a very, their antique mall in my town is, they have, their booths are like super small, like four by four little closets. So this would fill up a whole antique booth and it would, they're all perfect items to sell at a place like that. So I don't know, I might get into it, but that was my yard sale haul. I felt like it was uh, maybe not the most profitable items in the world, but definitely one of the coolest yard sales I've been to. I really have like a, a just an interest in older items like this and like 
hearing the stories about who owned them and where they came from and things like that. And uh, I don't know, I just love uh, being the middleman, you know, buying stuff like this at yard sale super cheap and then trying to find people out there in the world that would maybe value it and enjoy it, uh, you know, other than me, because I definitely don't have a ton of space to hold on to this stuff forever. All right, you guys, so I think that is going to be it for today's video. I am super excited to get back into garage sales. I haven't been to a garage sale either on or off camera in months since last year, basically. And I'm excited to have more garage sale opportunities and make more garage sale videos. However, the bad thing is that in my area, generally people aren't very good about scheduling their garage sales. Like the very first good weather weekend of spring, everybody has a garage sale and they all start at like 7 a.m. and go until 12 noon. So you have like one Saturday morning where there's like literally 40 or 50 really good yard sales within 20 miles and you have four hours to go to all of them. And it's just, it's so frustrating. I'm like, please just spread it out a little bit. Do some on Friday, do some on Sunday. Some people do, but for the most part, Saturday mornings between seven and noon are like prime garage sale time. So that's something I have to work through. But again, I am excited to incorporate more garage sale videos into my YouTube channel. And let me know if you guys like those. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I definitely appreciate your time. If you've enjoyed it at all, remember to take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free and it really helps me out a ton. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one. Whew.